evolve from failure. John, welcome to my podcast. It is episode 20 of The Snout. We were a band. We are on a tape from January 29th, 1998. Eh, Probably about a year and three months, four months after we started this whole thing. Um... On this tape, it looks like we've got uh, on side one from water into the slime, the long, slow walk of evolution across Texas and lost the map. On side two, we have the great deeps, too shallow, Midori from Sambuca. Then we have ska folk Hendrix style. and camel dung and I need to tell you that I wrote everything on this tape as when I got it all it said was the snout 129.98 and it had a little snout nose drawn there other than that it said nothing so I ran it through I ran it through and uh I went through and, and wrote over all the, the stuff. I, I'm trying to look at the tape and see whether I actually wrote it new or actually I wrote over what was actually there. Because there's a goofy little drawing of a fish thing. Okay, as I look, this was actually written, and what I've done is just gone in and wrote over everything so everything actually was put down there at the time it's not me making up names 25 years later this uh, it's just me writing over what was there to make because it had faded so badly all right so we'll turn this up a little bit you can listen to uh, from water into slime for a little bit and this is uh... come on we're starting to get a little something going at least Sounds like Mike can't hear himself play. And that was one of the issues with uh, those shitty microphones. I had explained it in an earlier episode. Um, So it sounds like you got drum machine, you got Matt. Uh, I'm doing my keyboards and then uh, trying to figure out guitar. I think you've got Mike on the right. And probably it sounds like Matt again on the left. That just sounds like his guitar. He's got to go crazy all the time. We're trying to do this, like, nice evolutionary march kind of thing. And he just goes, continually goes off. And, you know, I mean, he plays so well. So much better than us. But he has to just keep playing the same fucking sounds all the time. It's always that blues rock guitar sound, even when he's not playing blues rock guitar. Um, I don't know if he's capable of mellowing out and and just kind of maybe just picking along mellowly with something. We'll see in this tape, because there's a bunch of stuff on this tape. But he always has to fucking play lead over everything, and that's kind of not really what we're about. 
we'll see whether he fucking gets it in this tape or not. I don't know. At a certain point, uh, he's just gone. <laughs> We're like, we just got sick of the blues shit. I don't think we ever told him to leave. I just think we quit telling him when we were playing. Or maybe he just disappeared. I don't know. You know another one of those guys somebody dragged along. And, hey. All right. So I'm going to mellow that out. That is called From Water into Slime. Let's see what we can get to here. The next thing up is supposed to be the long, slow walk of evolution. I don't know if that's just more of the same thing, whether it morphed into it or not. We'll see. But I know these are very long, and I'm going to uh, let this go a ways. Do, 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 do. Uh, let's see where we're at. This does not sound happy. This does not sound like we were playing together. And, I, and I've talked to Mike, and Mike, he's expressed his frustration with that. Uh, it was just um, uh, not our thing. Oh, that's the same deal. Let's keep it moving. Yeah, I think some of these, you know, are like 15 minutes long. Uh, they're all as long as they needed to be, basically. not sound like we're happy playing together there. <laughs> I mean, it's okay. Think about where we came from and how shitty we were to start a year and three months ago before this tape. Um, it's awesome, but I think we're frustrated with the blues rock thing. Uh, and it comes out in the music. I mean, there are days when different people showed up in different moods and you can tell I mean it, it really affects what we're doing let's see we are still going on that kind of shit uh, I think maybe from water into slime into the slime and the long slow walk of evolution are pretty much the same thing but I could be wrong well, I hope to get past that thing no, we're still going. So, yeah, that was that could have been a twenty-five minute thing for all I know. They tended to just go as long as they until they petered out or became something else. Oh my God, it's still going. I have fast forwarded a lot. <laughs> And it's still there. Hopefully we can find something different on this tape. Fuck. All right, so here's... I'm a little different. Exactly what we're doing there. That must be part the beginning of the slow, long, slow walk of evolution. I don't know. We're gonna find out. I'm gonna move it forward um, until whatever we're doing there turns into whatever it turns into. <laughs> if it turns into anything, we may just stop it and do something else. Oh, let's see. Thank you. 
hard hard to play a blues rock riff over this. <laughs> oh, he's trying. Super slow. But we're going to keep plugging. Uh, uh, it's got to be better than that. Well, you never know. There were there were tapes that I've listened to where the, the day just did not work. <laughs> I mean, the whole tape is... Uh, there could be uh, sound issues. There could be mood issues. Or, yeah. A plethora of things. On a Pony Express Sounds like it's trying to be real heavy I guess this is a long slow walk of evolution but It's really a slow walk. I suppose it took millions of years, so. All right, so let's, uh, let's try that again. Let's get a little further forward. Um, but regardless of what was going on with uh, the guitar player that we were having our difficulties with, uh, we kept continue playing, and we kept to continue to uh, change and grow a little bit, I think, and learn every time we played. So yeah, that just goes on. Let's keep it going. Let's move forward. I want to get to across Texas and lost the map. They sound uh, more interesting. Let's see what we can find. Still loving the new tape deck, though. Okay, this must be across Texas. Got uh, Matt on bass with drum machine. You got Matt in the left channel guitar. You got Mike in the right channel guitar. And it sounds like the keyboards are in the right channel guitar as or the right channel as well. At least at this point. So we're trying to get something going there. We have to be pretty early into that one. Let's move forward and see how it feels once uh, we've been playing it for a little bit and get it, get it tighter, get it together. Taking a break. Let's, uh, let's fast forward a little bit. Is that the end? Ah, we're going to put it on the other side. Let's just continue there. Let's see if we can pick that one up. It sounds like it's going to be a uh, blues rocky thing, but we'll see. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're the Great Deeps. Oh, here we go. Yeah, side two. Yes, it didn't continue. It just got cut off there. So, at some point, we decided that we were going to be a funk band called the Great Deeps. <laughs> Basically because this Matt guy just loved to play the funk guitar, so and uh, because Mike and I had decided that the snout would no longer play funk or blues, 
or blues rock. That's the only way we do this. And, uh, we didn't tell Matt that. But the only way we we're going to do this is if we did it under a different name. So we came up with the Great Deeps for one song. Um, and actually, I think this is called... Um, well, I have it written down as Too Shallow, <laughs> meaning we're too shallow to play good funk. And then Midori from Sambuca. And it's a story about a prostitute named Midori who was in another story with uh, me, Midori, and the Butcher. So Mike had a fascination with uh, Midori, I guess, and her green hair. You can listen to Mike's guitar on the right. How happy he is to be playing funk. He's just grind the same thing over and over. And if you hear my keyboard, got a tattoo of a spade. Loud and trying to dominate a little bit so that funk guitar doesn't take over too much. <laughs> Possibly. I could be making that up. It's all just 20 some year old memories. See if I can find my place there. Turn that down. We're gonna fast forward a little bit. I, I know in that song I found the keyboards that fit better. Uh, maybe it just took a little while to get there. Let's see what we can find. Sounds like Mike turned up his distortion some more. <laughs> maybe I never do get with that one because I didn't. Maybe I didn't really want to play it. We'll see. I thought I found keyboards that fit in better than that. We'll find out though. Mm, let's move forward just a little bit. And Must be moving on to something else here. I don't know. That sounds a lot better. That. We fixed Mike's distortion. Now he wants to strum Neil Young. Uh, let's move forward a little bit. See what we're at here. Okay, so that is not any way together. <laughs> Let's see what we can get to. So it sounds like Too Shallow was what we were listening to, that funky thing. And now we'll be into uh, Midori from Sambuca. It sounds like we tried to tr decided to change up the funk a little bit. Let's see. Matt came back and we're glad to have him.
So yeah, that's uh, Midori from Sambuca. There's some lyrics in there that I think are fun. I'm going to move forward and try to see if we can get Mike singing a little bit. Um, and as always, I'll pick something off of this to throw up on uh, YouTube for you guys to listen to. I have started doing that a couple episodes back, and I'm going to keep doing that because I think it's a, a good idea for you guys to actually be able to hear a whole song rather than me cutting them off all the time. So um, look for that. I haven't decided which one yet. Apparently we stopped and I wanted to keep going, but I don't think we're going to. Maybe. Not sounding too bad. Keyboards are fitting in. <laughs> the mic's going nuts. I don't know what he's doing. Some kind of scat man. He's doing some scatting, I think. <laughs> yeah, he scats later, I think. We'll find that. Too bad. <laughs> All right, we're gonna move forward. Uh, I want to get to the ska folk Hendrix style and then uh, camel dung because there's some interesting stuff going on there that gets overshadowed by some playing that disappointed me. But uh, so trying to do something different. Same thing. Same dang thing. Do, 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 do. But we need something different. <laughs> Messing with those keyboards. Gotta get past this one. Looks like another long one. Aren't they all? Yeah, still going. Um, Scott Folk Hendrix style just sounds too interesting to not listen to. I mean, come on. Still in the other one though. But it sounds like Mike got his banjo out. <laughs> if Mike got his banjo out, you'd know he was sick of what was going on. Enough funk. I still got some of my keyboard parts there. This sounds so much more interesting. And here this is where I have the difficulty. I started doing something really cool with the keyboards and the banjo and the bass. And then this guitar comes in and uh, has to fucking play wow wow bluesy rock shit. It's the same fucking shit he played the last time we were trying to do something. And uh, it, we cannot get the guy to step back a little bit and let the music happen instead of, you know... We just listen. We try so hard to make this something cool. And, 
and you had yeah. and Matt's just gonna play whatever so he's gonna go along with the blues thing because that's what happening I thought we were gonna find something cool and then it just gets stepped on and it's disappointing um, let's move forward a little bit and see whether we ever got that dude to fucking back off. Because he really did. He just had to play over the top everything all the time. Never miss a note. Just keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Louder, louder, louder. Keep going, keep going. Louder, keep going. Oh, no, no, just a little. No, no, no. Not going to let anybody else play. Going to keep going, 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 going. That's what he did, and it pissed me off, and I'm sorry. but Okay, this is Scott Folk Hendrix style. The only reason I said Hendrix style is because of the fucking wah-wah guitar over it. But it's a really cool sound. Listen to this. Well, not right now. Talking about trying to get a ska thing going works with the banjo. That looks like the end of that. I'm going to rewind a little bit and get back to some more of that to go out on because that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, really disappointing. We got to, you know, find something really cool, just starting to work into it, starting to get to, you know, figure out the sound you're getting, and then and, and this wah wah loud thing comes in and just fucking destroys any chance of hearing what you're doing and uh, and moving it in any other direction because it's just it's just gonna keep playing that shit. It's just I'm sorry, I don't mean to rant, but God. <laughs> having such a hard time playing uh, let me back it up just a little more We're really trying to get something going But listen to the music, listen where we're at. You know, we're a year and three months into the journey that you started with me 20 episodes ago. And this is cool. You hear me trying to do ska thing. <laughs> I'm gonna let this play out for you. My name's John Dundas. You've been listening to episode 20 of The Snout. We are a band. Enjoy a little Ska Folk Hendrix style on your way out.